Liquid Nitrogen Attention, the following experiments are for educational purposes only. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of these experiments. Liquid nitrogen has its boiling point at minus 196 degrees C or 77 Kelvin, which is why it boils on contact with every surface until it has cooled down. When the nitrogen reaches room temperature, it can take up to 694 times of its volume. To slow down evaporation, it is usually put in a dewar flask, which has a hollow space between the inner and outer wall. Here a similar hollow space is achieved by using two different beakers, but the isolating properties don't get close to a real dewar flask like this one made of metal. In this one the hollow space has a vacuum, so the heat from the outside can only slowly enter the flask. Nevertheless there are also flasks made of glass which are often used to contain smaller amounts of liquid nitrogen and even have a reflecting surface. These are very fragile and can break at every time, which is why these are usually not cleaned. In chemistry, liquid nitrogen is used in cold traps to keep solvents and byproducts from leaving the apparatus or entering a vacuum pump. But it's also used to cool stored samples or cool them down in a measurement like for example in this X-ray diffraction analysis. A usual demonstration is putting a rose into liquid nitrogen. It doesn't take long until the rose is frozen completely. The otherwise soft petals then behave like glass. When liquid nitrogen touches surfaces which are at room temperature, the Leiden frost effect can be observed. A part of the nitrogen evaporates very quickly, forming an isolating layer of gas on which the liquid nitrogen is sitting. This causes it to evaporate more slowly. That's the reason why a short contact with the skin usually doesn't cause any damage. In these slow motion shots, the isolating layer can be observed quite well. This were a few properties of liquid nitrogen. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to see another liquid gas, you can watch my video about liquid oxygen here, or you can watch my latest video here. A big thanks to my supporters on Patreon.